race. Where are you going in such a rush, turtle? Oh, nowhere in particular. It's just that I always move around at this speed. Yeah, of course. What's the matter? Because you're so slow, you can't imagine the rest of us are able to move around so quickly? Excuse me, I go slowly because I'm in no rush, but I could move a whole lot faster if I wanted to. Oh yeah? I sure would like to see that someday. Don't be leaving so quickly because you and I aren't done yet. We need to decide which of us is fastest. That makes no sense at all. It's obvious that I'm the fastest. Nobody has ever seen a snail beat a turtle. Hello, friends. What are you talking about? This conceited turtle thinks that she's faster than me. I don't want to make matters worse, but turtles are usually faster than snails are. That's true, but it so happens that I am a very fast snail. Why don't you just quit the bragging and show us already? All right, look at how fast I move. Wow! It looks like you really are fast. Oh, that's nothing. Watch me. Wow, you're really fast too. Yes, but I can go even faster. You know what I suggest? Why don't you two have a race and it'll decide which one of you is the fastest? That's fine with me. Today will not be your lucky day. You're going to see what it means to lose, my dear Miss Turtle. <laughs> my dear friends, the rules are simple. You must go one lap around the sandbox, and the one who gets back first will be the champion. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready, but I have to do something first. Do what? I have to go to the bathroom. You have to go now? Uh-huh. Well, that's not a problem. Just behind that rock, you'll find one. I'll be right back. What's wrong with that turtle? Why is she leaving now, right before the race? I think she's pulling out of the race. I don't think she's doing that. She probably has to mentally prepare. Maybe she's just scared and doesn't want to compete against the snail. She's clearly afraid. Everybody take your position. Get ready. Get set. Go! Let's go, friends. May the best one win. Come on, you can do it. Faster, you can go faster. I guess you're ready to lose. I'm sorry, but you're the one who's going to lose. I seriously doubt it. I thought this race would be more exciting. You must understand that these are two of the slowest animals in the world. Yeah, but I thought there'd be a little more competition, tension, nerves. Yeah, like the day that we created our own Olympics. Yes, I remember. I won by my ear. That's not true, Moomoo. You won by an ear, which is not the same thing at all. That sure was a really exciting race. How much longer till this race is over? Calculating their speed, which is then divided by the actual distance, multiplied by the win factor, they have at least another two hours and a half before they finish the race. Oh, great. We're going to waste the entire afternoon watching these hot rods. They're going so slow that we'll be here till tomorrow. I'm very sorry, but I don't have time for such nonsense. I'm leaving. Well, hold on, Rita. I'll go with you. Yes, I'm going to go as well. To, um, to do homework. Cheer up, friends. You're almost halfway there. Those two, they can't take it anymore. I'm 
just going to sit down here because I'm tired of watching them. At this rate, they won't even be done by tomorrow. Boy, we are slow. We still have more than halfway to go, and I'm hungry. I'm not saying that I want to stop, but if you like, we could finish this race later. So then who won? Well, I'd say we both won. That works for me. Now let's both eat something. I'll invite you to my house. Thank you. I'd be delighted. Notice that it's always sunny in the garden? Except for at night, of course, because it's dark and the sun is somewhere else. I'd like to know exactly where it is. Because if it's not here, that must mean it's somewhere else, right? Have you ever thought about it? Uh, I know what you're thinking. That I should go look it up in some book, because books can explain almost everything. I once looked it up in a book. Right, Olga? You can find stuff on almost anything you ask. Of course, you can't find a cake recipe in a history book because you wouldn't find it. But if you look in a recipe book, you'll surely be able to find one, right? Huh? Right, Olga? Well, yes, Rita. Sorry, but I'm doing my homework and I don't want to break my concentration. Well, that's not a problem. I'm only saying that... 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 What was I saying, Olga? Rita? Shh. No, uh, Rita. I don't have time to talk right now. this morning, Moo Moo. Want me to help you out? All right. Chairs are a great invention. Imagine if they didn't exist. We would have to sit on the floor and it's comfortable, but sometimes you just want to sit in a chair. There are chairs of all different colors and styles. There are plastic ones with armrests, without armrests, white ones, green ones, blue, yellow, purple ones. Actually, you can find them in every color. They're also made of wood. All kinds of wood. Almost all done. Just as soon as I'm finished, I'm going to take an hour-long nap. I wonder what Rita is talking about. I'm going to tell her to quit blabbing and start sweeping the floor. I know that, Moo Moo. You don't even have to answer. You and I understand each other with just one look. I know what you're thinking. It's not that I'm a fortune teller or anything like that. It's just that I understand perfectly and... I'm tired. I'm going to go take a nap now. Perfect. It's really good to rest. I'm tired and need a nap, too. Well, it's not from helping me. Of course. Huh? What are you saying, Moo Moo? I don't help? Moo Moo? Alfred! 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 Are you sleeping? <laughs> What? What happened? <laughs> what is it? What's up? Nothing. Mumu's sleeping, Milo and Olga are doing homework, so I came to see you. Well, before you woke me up, I was sleeping. Oh, well, it was time you got up, because you have to make the most of every day. Rita, you talk so much, you'd even talk to a stone. That's not true. I just like to share my thoughts with my friends and hear what they have to say about it. Shh! I get it. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh, sure, I even talk to the rocks now. Can you believe they're saying that? 
not talk too much. It's not fair. I talk a normal amount. Do they want me to just be quiet and not say a word? I don't talk to rocks, or do I? Oh. Okay, so Alfred was right. I tried talking to the rocks, but they don't answer me, and that's really boring. I think I'm going to do some homework. I'm going to show them that I'm capable of being quiet. I won't make a sound. I'm not going to utter a single word. I'll just sit quietly next to Milo and Olga and do my homework in silence. They won't even notice that I'm sitting right next to them. Do you think that's a good idea, Talalo? Talalo? Do you feel like going for a swim in the lake, Milo? Okay. Quiet! Can't you see I'm doing homework and I need to concentrate? Sorry, Rita. We're leaving now. Yeah, sorry. How inconsiderate. By the way, Olga and Milo, are you... Olga? Milo? This pencil sure does write well. There are also colored pencils that I like very sharp. Rita, you are truly hopeless. I'm going to the lake. When you finish your homework and talking to that pencil, come on over for a dip with us. Although I'm sure you'll still be talking even underwater. What do you mean talking underwater? What do you mean talking to a pencil? Pencils don't answer. Do you, pencil? Do you? Now I'm talking to a pencil. Is it possible to talk underwater? I'm starting to scare myself. I think I better finish my homework and it keep quiet for a while. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a treehouse and make Moo Moo sleep there so we can finally get some sleep? Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is, we still have to build the treehouse, don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring, and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a treehouse so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? 
Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? We're all going to sleep <gasps> here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come Yay! on, quit crying and help us finish it. Yay! for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Alvin! Quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm going to go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. 